So as Memorial Day rolls around once again this year, we're all going to be engaging in a lot of fun summertime activities that include swimming, gardening, playing in the sandbox, and cooking that big feast on the grill. There's a couple parasites, however, that we want you to be aware of uh, so you can stay free of infection as you enjoy these fun summertime activities. The first parasite we want to mention is Toxoplasma. This primarily infects cats, however it can get into any animal, including humans. When cats are infected, they shed oocysts into the litter box, as well as gardens or sandboxes or people's yards. So we want to make sure we don't catch the oocysts uh, that are shed into the environment by the cat. When animals get infected with Toxoplasma, by virtue of ingesting those oocysts, their tissues become contaminated with the parasite. So we also need to make sure that we cook meat thoroughly uh, before putting it on our plates to enjoy. Toxoplasma usually doesn't cause problems uh, for people who are normal and healthy. However, if you become infected while pregnant, uh, this can lead to miscarriage and potential birth defects. It can also be a life-threatening infection in immune-compromised individuals. The second parasite we want to be aware of is Cryptosporidium. This is the so-called swimming pool parasite that the CDC issued a warning about just last week. Cryptosporidium causes uh, watery diarrhea for about one to two weeks and subsequent dehydration, which can be serious. Cryptosporidium is a particularly bad problem if you're very young or very old, pregnant or immune compromised. There are some simple measures that we can follow to prevent infection from either one of these parasites. To keep ourselves free of Toxoplasma, it's a good idea to cover the sandbox when it's not being used and to wall off your garden so that, cats, uh, so that cats can't gain access to it. It's also a good idea to wear gloves while you are gardening and wash your hands afterwards. In terms of grilling, cook your meat to a temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit to be sure to kill any toxoplasma tissue cysts that are contaminating the meat. And then finally, to prevent infection from your cat, if you change your litter box promptly within 24 hours, you greatly minimize the danger of acquiring toxoplasma from your, from your cat. To prevent cryptosporidium infection, we basically don't want swimming pools and public fountains to get contaminated in the first place. So if you are suffering from a cryptosporidium infection or have any sort of diarrhea, please do not go swimming for about one to two weeks after those symptoms disappear. If you are a swimmer, it's a good idea to shower or rinse off after using the pool or hot tub. To prevent yourself from getting either one of these parasites, the oocysts can be on fruits and vegetables, so wash those thoroughly before you enjoy them. And as always, keep your hands clean with soap and water to avoid parasite contamination. More information about these parasites can be found at the CDC website.